what's the the shark that you want to discover that you have never seen before? Not necessarily yeah. haven't you know haven't discovered yet, like not right. you know found, but what's the shark that you want to see the most? And Dave, I'm going to ask you the me, same question after. I'm very curious to hear Dave's because mine's pretty generic. I've never seen a sawfish. I would love to, oh, yeah. love to. Uh, Dave and I worked together briefly on a project to try and go and do them in Northern Australia right before COVID hit. Like we uh. were lining everything up. The network was on board, everything. And then bam, COVID kicked in. And I just like to see one of these, what do they get? Like 18 feet uh, total length, feet, like yeah. 18 foot long fish. 20 feet with this rostrum of this sp sword spikes yeah. i've seen i've seen their swords right i've seen them in collections and in villages and stuff i've never seen one not in florida where i know people see them regularly and tag i've just never seen one i know it's sort of a not the rarest shark in the world but for me to see one of these alien like creatures mm -hmm. is definitely at the top of my list wow. nice yes. dave how about yourself say the, the, the soft the sawfish is a good one that's I've seen a lot of dead ones in fish markets around Africa, but to see one live in the wild would be a definitely be cool. Mm -hmm. If my my one shark I'd like to see sometime, and it'd have to be in unusual circumstances, is a big-eyed sand tiger. That would be my literal like bucket mm. list. I could probably drop the mic on that one. It would be. There's only been a handful of these things ever seen in the world. They get quite big. Um, it's not so much the size, but they're just so rare and unusual. And it's again one that almost nobody has heard of but they're open ocean pelagic um it'd be awesome to get one to where you could actually maybe go free diving and like film one in the water it'd be it'd be, it'd be phenomenal it'd be that, how how deep are they dave I, i'm not gonna lie i had to google it to that's, know that's fine it was, yeah, but, okay. um, how, how deep are they <laughs> <laughs> they go down deep how deep are these big eyes sand tires they look like it yeah they yeah. They're, they go, go deep but they come they come up they catch them a lot of times in uh, in long line tuna fisheries so they sit, they'll get within a hundred, okay, a hundred meters or less. Sometimes almost at the surface, they'll come up. But they're usually in the. It's an open ocean thing. It's a pelagic species, and mm -hmm. as they say they catch them on on on, on billfish and tuna long lines. Um, but that would be to me to see one of those in the open ocean, and to somehow to be able to keep it around to like be able to like free dive on it would be like that would be my like, just yeah. nirvana, to see one of those things. So. That'd be Are there any like hot spots for them? Any sea mounts like Cocos or Malpelo yes. or like any of those yes, hot spots yes. where it's like that? Could, that's the spot. I could talk to you off air about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, there is a spot. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair okay. enough. I, there Fair is enough. a spot. That's I, cool. That, I, I'm just like, my. I, I actually yeah. pitched that to Discovery several years ago. They weren't buying it. But um, yeah, they. I, I, this, is, oh, this is years oh, before I knew you. I, I actually pitched that to them and they were like, no, they weren't, they weren't having it. So I was like, It'd still be a long shot, but there is a, there is one place I know of where we'd probably have a better than average chance if we're doing it right to maybe come across one. But we we can talk later after the show about that one. I don't want to give this one away. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for idea. sure. That's just so cool. No, of course yeah. I, I understand. That's just I mean it's such a I I just pulled one up on on my computer. It's just such an amazing looking. I love the weird sharks, yeah. and you're so right. lucky, Dave, because you get to work with the weirdest the weird of sharks. weird yeah. sharks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I think They're the most so character. Cool. Andrew, what's yours? You got you got to say what yeah. your shark is. You can't do that oh. to us and not give your input. Yeah, well, I, I agree. Well, to be honest, you know, I've I have I don't have the experience and and the opportunities that you guys have, you know, to go out and and, and search a shark and uh, and it's it's a very you know generic and and people do it every day. But it's it's uh, I'd love to you know be in the water with a whale shark. Like I've never yeah. I've never done that before. I think to to compare the size, the sheer size of me compared to a whale shark, and watch it like zoom by because every time you see it on TV, they slow it down. I, I was told mm -hmm. and. And, uh, and to, to be able to just get in the water and see it, I don't want to be close. I just want to see it in the water and just be like, just be, I, I would probably come up in a bit of tears if I was able to see that. Cause I just, I find them spectacular. I think they're, they're amazing animals. I love sort of the spotted pattern on, on the, the dorsal part uh, and, and how it's unique and how you can identify them. It's, it's, uh, that, yeah, that would just get me. That would just get me. It's a, but it's a great one. It's one of those animals. I always, uh, say that there there's a bunch of animals in the world 
that if you didn't know it existed mm-hmm. and you told somebody about it, they'd tell you it was an alien or it wasn't real. Right. And it's one of those animals that, you know, if you showed it to somebody, who'd never, they'd be like, that's not, that's like a sci-fi thing. Yeah. You'd be like, no, no, really, that's a real, that's a real shark. Um, uh, it's so cool. That's a great yeah. answer.